There's a reason why it all looks like this right now. It's all because of this. This is the product red iPhone with the black front. That's right. This is the product red iPhone that I think we should have got, but it takes a ton of work to get it to look like this. Let's talk about it. When the product red iPhone was announced, a lot of people complained about the white front. And to be honest, in real life, it doesn't look that bad. But a lot of people really wish that it had the black front. And this is something that I wanted to tackle. And it's kind of difficult. So a lot of you are probably saying, why don't you just buy a black display and just put it on the front of the new iPhones? Well, you can, but the problem is, is that the Touch ID sensor is actually linked to the logic board. So if you change that Touch ID sensor, the home button will actually work, but you will lose Touch ID functionality, so no fingerprints. So if you don't care about the fingerprint scanner, then you're good. You can actually buy a black display with a black home button and you're good. But if you're just gonna directly swap them, then you will have a white Touch ID sensor with a black display, which looks kind of funny. So this is what I had to do to get this look. And you'll have to do the same thing if you want full functionality. What I did was I took another 7 Plus that I had here and took the black display off of the front with the Touch ID sensor and I had to move the logic board off of this and implant it into the red one. So you have to do a full swap to get this thing fully working. This will be my Frankenstein result after I put this one back together. White front, jet black back. So if you've never taken an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus apart before, it can be a little bit daunting. I mean, look at all this stuff here. I mean, literally you have to take out the battery, the Taptic engine, the camera, the logic board, and there's a ton of screws everywhere. You're gonna need the appropriate tools. It's probably gonna take you about an hour to do, but I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but this combo right here is definitely worth it to me. But for most people, it's not gonna be worth it because you're gonna have to buy two iPhones to make this happen. I mean, it's crazy. So I took it on as a challenge to make this happen and an iPhone got sacrificed in that process. I ripped a ribbon cable when I was taking the display off. I'm so angry that I did that, but in the end, this happened and it looks great. And maybe Apple will listen. I mean, this is an awesome combo. I mean, you have to think about this. This is so fire. I mean, if you see this in person, this black and the red combo is stunning. I mean, it's way better looking in my opinion than the white front and it's awesome. It just takes too much money to do this, but I just thought I'd show it to you guys. It is definitely possible. You can swap out the logic board and you have to kind of do a transplant to get the full functionality, but I think it's awesome. There's a few things that you should consider though, even if you have money to blow away, that there is a water seal around the display and a lot of that comes off when you pull the display off. So this phone is probably not fully water resistant, which kind of sucks and you might lose some of that around the gaskets and things like that, so be aware of that. And it's probably gonna void your warranty, period, because, I mean, you're putting other parts into here. They can probably find that out in diagnostics, but, I mean, this is gonna be my daily driver from now on. I mean, this is unique, this is awesome, ridiculously overpriced, but it looks amazing. So I did it. It's definitely possible to put a black front on the product red iPhone. Let me know what you guys think about this. I know it's really expensive, but let me know what you guys think about this combo. This is definitely the product red iPhone that they should have given us. I mean, what do you think? This is awesome. So let me know what you guys think. Subscribe for more videos like this and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.